Right guys, we have some pretty exciting news. Test production for 3 nanometer M3 chips has already begun. And so let's delve into this report. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so there is a massive asterisk with this report, and that's a fact. It's from Digitimes, who's known for not being very credible. So do take this with a massive grain of salt. But anyways, the report says, TSMC's began test production for three nanometer chips that, of course, Apple's M3 could be based on. Now, the report also says that volume production begins in Q4 2022, and then, of course, shipments begin in Q1 2023 with the M3 Max. So yeah, that timeline for the most part does make sense, since of course we should be seeing 3 nanometer chips go into the iPhone 14 series first, and they should be going into production around mid-2022. So of course, once TSMC starts producing the 3 nanometer A16 chips, then they can move on to the M3 chips, which are essentially going to have A16 cores. Also, I do want to mention that this report does suggest that we could see annual releases for the Mac from now on, because of course, if we're seeing M3 in Q1 2023, that does suggest we should see M2 early next year, since of course, I doubt Apple's going to give us M3 less than a year after the M2 release. And so yeah, maybe from now on we do see a consistent schedule for the release of Max. We see the beginning of the year focused on the consumer Max, and then the second half of the year is focused on the prosumer Max with the Pro and Max chips. And yeah, I guess this could make sense because once 2022 ends, we should be done with the Mac redesigns for the most part. In fact, that's a major reason why we're seeing delays and why the releases have been all over the place. And that's mainly because there's been issues with certain components with the redesigns. But 2023 onwards should be focused on internal changes for the most part. And so of course, Apple can easily swap out the old chip for a new chip every single year and build a consistent schedule for the Mac. Since I do think that's the biggest issue with the Mac right now, we don't know when we should expect new Macs to release, and I do think it would be very beneficial to have a consistent release schedule much like the iPhone so that consumers know when is the right time to buy a Mac. But then again, Digitimes is not a very credible source, but also there's been plenty of evidence and also reasonings that go against an annual refresh cycle. For example, Minchi Kuo, the very credible supply chain expert, said the M2 MacBook Air is launching in mid-2022, which of course is going to mean WWDC, and well, I doubt Apple's going to give us M3 at the beginning of 2023 when they just gave us M2 back in June. But also I've seen the reasoning that of course Apple Silicon is way ahead of the competition and so Apple has no need to refresh these Macs on a yearly basis since for example the M1 MacBook Air that's pretty old now is still the best laptop money can buy going into 2022. And so yes I'm pretty spit about this but tell me in the comments below guys do you think the Macs are going to be updated on a yearly basis? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPod Touch 8. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.